what I'm showing here is just my magnet that is on my rotor. I was having a little bit of backwards uh, counter or, or interaction with it on my stator there when it was going around because the back of the pole was uh, not shielded properly. So what I've done here is I'm having it uh, say north here, go all the way up here, and then turn to south and, and putting I'm putting that up vertically so it won't interfere with the stator magnets on my next uh, test. And then I'm going to put it in this little contraption right here, this little holder. And uh, I'll screw that down to the rotor and uh, pop this screw through here so it uh, holds and won't fly off on me. That way I won't have any interference. And uh, I also got a little bit of mu metal on the back of uh, here, inside here as well. Right there from uh, a little bit of mu metal from a hard drive. So that'll prevent any uh, slowing down uh, as it goes around and uh, I should get a closer approximation of uh, where I want it to be. All right. All right, I got the 90 degree magnet assembly screwed down to the rotor and I'm gonna just play with the zones here. And also I wanna tell you, I've removed a few of these magnets that were right here cause it was really, really tight to the, the strongest uh, magnet. So now it can come out of the repulsion zone and give it a little bit of speed up to uh, go further back in. It seems to be helping. This seems to help a lot. Now I put a piece of tape right here. This, this magnet was my uh, strongest magnet magnetically, like my magnetic moment where everything is focused. So that's the strongest sticking point. And this is, and this where this biggest magnet is, is the second uh stop point sticking point i have here it's 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 not as bad as this one but it's it's right now i got two cogs i got this cog and that cog so i'm trying to narrow the gap down and get it to, i want it to be just this one cog so if i put it right on that magnet if it's right here it, it'll go to the right and i don't want it to go that way but uh if i put it right here it'll go the way I want it to, from repel to the weakest and back in. So I'm pretty much getting right here now, whereas before I think I was over here. So I'm within four inches now of coming back to the starting point. So, yeah, so far so good. One thing at a time. And uh, I got a couple more ideas. I might have a sliding door in here. That's what the groove is for, so I can have a sliding door so I can turn off the magnet essentially by shielding it at this point as it comes out. And uh, once it gets back here, uh, raise the raise the trap door and, uh, and have it uh, continue on. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress of this. I know it looks like crap and there's a lot to be looking at. It's a lot of stuff going on, but uh, at least it's a single pole interaction now with all norths pointing in and a north pointing out. And now the south is up vertically out of the way. So I'm not getting any reverse drag uh, on the back end like it was before. So now I'm doing better with the single magnet than I was with the two before. And uh, once again, that's attached to this 20 pound rotor. 20 pound flywheel if you want to call it whatever you want to call it all right my friends that's it for now and i'll be back in a few more days with another update thank you